Howdy, everybody. Welcome to episode one of my director's cut. <laughs> I'm not too sure what exactly made me uh, decide to do this. I guess I just really wanted an excuse to try something new. So I've altered a few things around, and I'm trying some new combinations. Essentially, it's the same shit, different day scenario, but with technology. So, this episode is um, a bit of a clip from uh, part three of my Baldur's Gate playthrough, which you may or may not have already seen. Um, I'm kind of trying to plan it out so that... Uh, if I have any of these director's cuts from the episodes, then they're all like schedule them to go up, go up online. Uh, be hopefully before, or no, yeah, not before. <laughs> that would be horrible. Um. Okay, wait. What was I trying to say? I'm hoping that the director's cuts come up online after the parts that the clips were taken from. Essentially, this is just going to be a montage of uh, various bits and pieces of the gameplay that I felt I needed to edit out for time restraint reasons. These will not be counted as normal uh, videos, as uh, I'm doing my best to maintain a normal uploading schedule, and I, um, well, I don't really want, uh, these videos to take over that. Unless, of course, you like listening to me talking to myself, in which case, I'm more than happy to fill a full hour's worth of just this, but I doubt you're here for that. Hell, even I don't want to listen to my own voice. So. Um, yeah. Without further ado, uh, this is episode one. The, uh, I think it was an owl bear? Yeah. The owl bear situation. I'm so glad I managed to save the clip for us. Honestly. Sealed by magic. There's no smashing this open. Let's not touch that fucking thing. Whoops. Sorry. I can do that. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's... Shadow Heart, can you please move? I'm trying to look at the thing. I'm never going to get that open, and I don't feel like I'm my phone again. So, fuck you, you can keep your secrets. You lunar narc. That stench. Dead owlbear prey, no doubt. Ooh, I don't... Mm. out of its line of sight. That looks really good. There's a pebble. Alright, let's 
so clearly they haven't been killed by the thing yet. Not no. I just have to lure them back. Beasts ahead. We need to get closer. They're waiting for you there. Probably the stupidest thing. You I've feel ever the done. quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear. Its beaked face looming out of the darkness. What's this? Something weak. Something tender. Won't even have to chew you before I feed you to my son. Soft meat. Oh, it's a mother. There's half a spear lodged in your head. It's a splinter. I've got a bigger threat than you with worse. I need a better dice. Okay. You'll be even less of a threat when you're in pieces. Well, now I feel terrible because she said she's okay. Still breathing, despite everything. Why does it work on the cub and not her? It's because it's a child.
Oh, thank God. If you weren't gonna do it, I was. seem like a cheap shot, but... to strike. That's all I wanted to do here. Ugh, there's no way to fix it.
fight, I just want to. Well, so much for peace. I have to stop hitting the skip turn button. I don't have a choice here. All I wanted to accomplish was getting those people killed. And that just isn't working out, okay? I never wanted to go in there and kill a mother and her child. Like, holy shit. <sighs> the whole reason I sent them after the owl bear was in hopes that the owl bear would kill them. I wasn't expecting them to stand there and wait for me to have to trudge forth and be the leader. I wasn't expecting them to like <sighs> oh man like these people they're obviously cultists they're obviously out of their minds they need to die the owl bear didn't do anything to deserve this but they already killed one of them, so they might as well just finish the job. <sighs> and then I was put in the awkward position where I was forced to stab her baby. Like, oh my god. <laughs> and things did not go better. Like, later or anything. Things did not get better. Holy shit. You know what? We've already... 
led them down here into this cavern. So, theoretically speaking, I could just leave her there. Saloon a statue. It is stinking cave. Hardly a place of honor. I don't want to keep failing this. That stench. Dead owlbear prey, no doubt. You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before yeah. you see it. An owlbear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. What's this? Something weak, something tender. Won't even have to chew you before I feed you to my son. Soft meat. Hmm. It's a splinter. I've gutted bigger threats than you with worse. that I failed this before because persuasion is supposed to be my best feat, so what's going on here? You're small, weak. Killing you would be a waste of time. You can go, but you make one wrong step and I'll rip you to shreds.
to waste. Stand in my way. Hey, why am I threatened? What did I do? Anyway, I need to kill these people before they reach the owl van. Taking position. Thank you. 
how much further do we have to go to like get the fuck out of here? Can't afford to let up. Oh no, don't get involved, little one. Make way. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Oh, I can flee combat. <laughs> You have absolutely no idea just how immense my relief was when I finally saw an option that asked me if I wanted to flee from the fight. I thought... I thought that meant what it said it meant. But it didn't. And now... Now things are just broken at this point. Completely unsalvageable. I had to cut the entire interaction with the Owlbear out of my gameplay. My main gameplay. Because... I could not for the life of me fix this situation. I had two goals coming in here. Two. That's it. I wanted to make peace with the owl bear and kill the cultists. <laughs> that was all I wanted to do. So when the option to get out of battle was made relevant. I got the fuck out of there. Not that that mattered. <laughs> uh. All right, hold up. Can I... No. I'm exhausted. Better find somewhere to camp soon. You're fine! You lazy lizard. The person I'm worried about the most right now is, uh... Who the fuck are you? Why am I able to ditch them here? Okay, hold on. If I send them all here...
I'm ready. Make way. Where the hell do I get out of this fight? Why is it so difficult to just end the fight? I'm trying not to kill you. Is there anything I can... Can I do this to you? Oh, movement. Hmm.
Inconvenient thing ever. It's five sack of the couch. Hey? Shut up, I'm getting you. On the move. I came to the only conclusion that I could think of for this entire situation. I had already lured the cultists into the Owl Den. At that moment in time, the uh, Owl Bear did not know I was there. And, um,. I heard that this game has a sense of time, apparently. So... I, I just decided to cut the whole scenario out of the gameplay and leave them to their fate in the, in the owl bear cave. Because why wouldn't I? I tried it twice. Well, actually, I think I tried it like three times. But I just, I could not salvage the situation. I had no way of knowing 
that the woman was a ranged fighter and that the man was a melee fighter and that the woman was actually stupid enough to get far enough away from me to stumble into the sights of the owl bear and force the owl bear to get involved in our conflict. I don't know how I could have ended this peacefully. So, with all of this epic failure behind me, lost in the editing uh, methods of my madness, uh, <laughs> I erased this entire portion of the gameplay out of my Let's Play, and just decided to not include it at all. Not at all. The cultists are there. They think I'm on their side. They're not coming after me. The owlbear is not coming after me. That strenuous, not-so-stable piece is the best that I was gonna get. <laughs> Holy fucking crap. Oh, man. And so with that, I leave you with a, a very, very loaded debate of morals and what should and should not have been done. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video till the end. <sighs> oh, shut up. Okay. I have no idea how many of these I'm going to make. Maybe a couple, maybe a few dozen. I don't know, because the content of these videos is going to be solely stuff I cut out. Stuff I felt was important enough to share, but still cut out regardless. Either for the sake of time, or the sake of not age-restricting the main Let's Play. I mean, technically speaking, my videos are already age-restricted. I just, I haven't gone the extra mile to officially age-restrict them. But hey, that's, that's a completely different debate altogether. Anyway, if you enjoy this sort of content, don't forget to like, comment, maybe subscribe, and hit the notification bell to let you know when the next video is made public. I don't even know if that's a function the bell can do, but hey, it's worth a try. Anyway, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Oh, because as I'm sure you've seen already in part three of my gameplay, I have now got a nation to conquer. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. See ya.